Good morning, welcome back to the Man Cave. Uh, today we're going to address something a little bit differently inside the house this time. Uh, we have a water pressure issue and full disclosure, uh, I had the county utility come out and check at our meter. We definitely have um, full flow, full pressure at the meter. Uh, so here, let's... So when you turn the water on, you get full pressure for a few seconds and then it goes away. You can hear it, you can see the difference in the stream. Um, there's enough flow for it to build up a little bit of pressure, but as soon as you turn it on, there's not enough flow through it to keep it running continuously. So let's go out to the street and let's see what we can find there. First thing is, is this right here is our actual water meter from the water department. Um, like I said, it came out yesterday, pulled the meter off, checked it, everything was flowing fine. Coming from here, it goes down and over to the other box. You can see buried down in here is the pressure reducing valve. Um, I've got to dig into this and see exactly how it hooks up, but probably that's where our issue is. In case you're wondering, there should be a shutoff somewhere between here and here. There is a water shutoff right there. You can see that. You can actually cut the water off coming from the uh, utility company at that. That cuts it off coming through the meter and everything. I've got to get in there and see what's going on, and I don't have any digging tools, so, yeah. Let me get a cleaned out mess I can, and we'll go from there. Uh, 135 hours later, 62 trips to the big box store, and we've got it fixed, I hope. Uh, not actually that long, not actually that many trips, but it surely felt like it. I probably have, you know, back and forth to the store a total of two hours and the whole repair um, actual time doing the repair it was probably a 30 45 minute job uh, we bypassed it um, I did check with the uh, actually the, the guy from the uh, municipality that came out pressure reducing valve was not necessary here and that we didn't have to have it by code so water zone uh, there's my shutoff valve I actually do have a shutoff valve here uh, no leaks here, so let's go inside and uh, let's check and see if this actually fixed our problem. Back, back in the house, so now is the uh, see if this actually worked. Yeah, man, that's awesome. Okay, uh, hopefully that helped somebody. I mean, check with your local rules and regulations as far as you know what you need to do. Um, uh, different areas of our county do, do require it, um, but other areas do not, and, and we just happen to be in one of the areas that do not require it. Hopefully this, this will help some of you out. Uh, I know it was not a typical car video, but, you know, in a, in a garage, I mean, you know, man cave situation, you know, where we do our own repairs for the most part and fix stuff and make stuff and, and that kind of thing, um, you know, this is, this, is, this is part of it. So if you got any questions, feel free to drop a line below, um, like, subscribe, and you know, share with your friends. And uh, I hope that this was able to help somebody out. Uh, Y'all have a blessed day, and uh, keep checking back for more.